in conversation, or somebody might say, "Well, I was in World War II," and the, and the immediate response was. Well, so what? So was I. <laughs> but sadly, Herb Alfring says as time goes on, that common moment has become very rare. That's why returning to Pearl Harbor on the 80th anniversary of the attack meant even more. Only around 30 surviving World War II vets were able to make it back for the memorial ceremony held on the USS Arizona, the site of the bombing that killed 1,100 and led to the involvement of the U.S. in World War II. Just, uh overwhelming to be physically and mentally able after all this time to come back, you know. And uh, of course, my oldest daughter being a flight attendant for United Airlines has made it very easy to <laughs> come come back. A lighthearted moment, but the former Army private admits on December 7th, 1941, he came very close to being killed in the aerial assault. 15 feet to be exact. I could hear this plane coming and didn't pay too much attention to it until I heard, heard the, the bullet striking the pavement as they, as they went by me. And then I looked up and saw this plane and it had a red ball on the, on the fuselage. And I said, well, that's the Japanese plane. That's not our, what's happening? The next thing he knew, his camp was under attack. It all happened so quick, you know. Uh, the attack itself only lasted a couple hours. Herb, who lives in Jackson, has returned to Hawaii 10 times to remember those who lost their lives in the attack. Herb was in the Army assigned to the 251st Coast Artillery. That part of the California National Guard was the first to be activated before the war. Herb believes out of his entire National Guard regiment, he is the last surviving member. But he'll always be part of the greatest generation. I guess... When you're young like that, and you're involved in something, and you're 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 committed to it, you just do it and don't think too much about it. Certainly, the mentality of men and women during that generation. Now, one man he tells us has made it his mission to fly a veteran in his Boeing Stearman open cockpit plane. He's flown the restored World War II plane in 49 states. Hawaii is the last location. Herb Elfring was offered a ride number 50, and he says if the weather permits, he plans to do it within the next couple of days. So oh, that would be a major accomplishment and something he really wants to do. Oh, yeah. We hope we can share that story with people as well. You know, it's just remarkable. He's 99 years old, as you mentioned, and one of the last few survivors who has been able to go back and see it one more time. Yeah. And the memories are still so vivid. They are. And, you know, he says he doesn't think about it that often. But, of course, when he talks about it, he does put himself back in that mm -hmm. moment. Uh, one thing he did say, I, I asked him if he was going back next year. I mean, he will be 100. He said if he's up to it and he's with us, he plans to go back.